Hello guys, down here in Grey Lynn, uh, heading into Ivan Anthony Gallery. Gonna check out a double exhibition by Jess Johnson and Bradley Logan Heapy. Um, so yeah, some pretty interesting artists there. Let's go check them out, see what we got. First up we have Jess Johnson's show, Pain Canopy Yeast Steak, which consists of illustration, video and textile work. I first came across Jess's work at the Auckland Art Gallery, where she, in collaboration with video maker and animator Simon Ward, created an ambitious, immersive multimedia installation, which saw them nominated for the Walters Prize. Jess constructs fictional worlds, which find inspiration in retro science fiction and arcade games, often depicting figures in complex interstellar universes. At first, I thought these intricate illustrations were solely computer generated but upon further inspection it becomes apparent that these pieces are meticulously created by hand. There is a nostalgic familiarity about the pieces as they are reminiscent of old school 2D platform video games like Commander Keen, Mario Brothers, Alex the Kid or one of my favourite childhood addictions the Lemmings but are also reminiscent of 2D pictorial wall reliefs from ancient Egypt or Greece depicting histories and myths of gods and pharaohs with heavy use of symbology and iconography, which perhaps relay secrets and answers to the great mysteries of life. Here we see Jess join forces once more with Simon Ward. A more direct connection to the fantasy world of video games can be seen in the dual screen looping video animations where many digital humans wander through a multi-leveled labyrinth. Next we have Jess in another collaboration, this time working with her mother and accomplished quilt maker Cynthia Johnson, creating banner-like textile pieces, the likes of which we may expect to see in a medieval throne room or banquet hall. Moving on to the backspace, we have the exhibition Perfect Prey by Brad Logan Heapy, which complements Jess's work well, with ominous objects created out of cast wax, plastic or resin. On the floor we are met with what may be the remnants of a ritualistic sacrifice, where sprouting sunflowers encircle what appears to be a decapitated head of a wizard or a sorcerer. And then on the walls we have what reminds me of religious icons of tortured flowers in purgatory. And to the left, a large smiley emoji, sinisterly created out of cast or perhaps 3D printed skull, both human and our evolutionary ancestors. While Jess and Brad's works are very different physically, they work well together in the space and are linked if only by their use of symbology and the iconographic. So those were the exhibitions guys, uh, what do you think? Um, you know, comment down below which was your favorite not that it's a competition or anything uh, they're both very different artists but I think they work really well together in a space um, so yeah comment down below which one is your favorite not that it's a competition but you know it's just nice to know kind of what you think what you thought um, also if you liked this video then you know subscribe for the next one um, like down below comment down below let me know if there's any other shows you want to see me go to or think that I should go to. Uh, yeah, and that'll do from me for now. I'll see you on the next one. There's plenty more to come. So do that subscribing and liking and etc, etc. Cool. Nice one, guys.